everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be our updated homeschool room tour. So a few months ago, we all sat down and we were like, why are we not using our homeschool room anymore? For years, it was the most utilized room in our entire house, but it had seemed that we just weren't using it at all. With the exception of Emily STEM Center, when she had Lego classes, it just wasn't getting utilized. So what we decided was that it probably wasn't getting used because it really was kind of juvenile for what we needed. I was holding on to the nostalgia of our preschool and kindergarten years, unfortunately, because I, you know, didn't want to let go. And our homeschool room just hadn't really grown up with Emily. So we decided that it was time for that to happen. We took a trip to Ikea, of course, because, well, who doesn't want Ikea in their homeschool room? And then we kind of restructured the way this room works for us. Now, before I show you what is in our homeschool room, I want to tell you that you do not, under any circumstances, need a homeschool room to homeschool. You don't need a dedicated space at all. In fact, I would say the majority of homeschoolers probably don't even have a dedicated homeschool space. And we also homeschool many places other than our homeschool room. We are often found at our dining room table, outside, on the couch. But I will say we have utilized our homeschool room much more since the remodel. So I'm very excited for what the future might hold for us there. But I just don't want you guys to see our homeschool room and think that you have to have one in order to be a successful homeschooler because you absolutely do not. We were just lucky enough that our homeschool room is actually an addition off of our house. And when we moved in, we all kind of had our own vision for it. Kevin wanted it to be an art studio. I wanted it to be a photography studio, but we ultimately knew it would end up being Emily's playroom. And now what is kind of funny about that whole thing is it's a multi-purpose room that does all of those things. I am sitting in it right now filming, which means technically it has become a photography studio. When we did the makeover, it allowed for us to be able to put two side-by-side -side workspaces in, which means that Kevin is now down here doing all of his art. So it's also an art studio. And Emily does all of her playing and schooling down here for the most part. So it is also a play and homeschool room for her. It is just a big multi-purpose room. It is bright, it is cheery, it is welcoming, and we love just being down here together now. So I'm so, so happy with all of the changes that we made. So I'm going to turn you around and show you all of those changes. But again, please don't feel like you need anything that you're going to see because I really think you can homeschool super successfully without anything that you're going to see today. Here is a quick overview of the entire room. This was like an addition to the back of our house. So it's essentially a closed in porch and it is a long, narrow room, but we love it for our homeschool room. For the most part, our homeschool room is kind of blocked off into sections or centers, if you will. This is all of the games up top here. All of those boxes have all of our card games in them. All of the longer games that don't fit on the shelf sit over here. And then awkward size um, games are in these top two. And then all of her physical activities are in the bottom three, like her little jumping pogo stick and some jump ropes and anything that will help her get the wiggles out is where we store all of that. Over here is kind of our book corner. There's a map of the United States on the wall. These book bins Kevin made for me. And if you head to the blog, there will be um, some description on how he did that. And then most of these shelves are double lined with books because we need to maximize all of our storage. I do have a video um, on our bookshelf tour, so I will link that in the eye in the sky for you guys. This is from Ikea and we just store um, books there that are of interest to her. I kind of like strewing books all the time. This bean bag is one of those stuffed animal bean bags and it is full of all of her stuffed animals and it's actually very comfortable to sit on too. Over here is their workspace. So they each have identical kind of side-by-side -side workspaces. Um, we use the Alex drawer system as legs from Ikea and then their tabletops. 
They each have the same stool and they each also have a rolling cart that stores underneath for additional storage. So they have kind of the same amount. And we um, are not picky. We let Emily put whatever she wanted in her drawers. So she set them up. They're mostly full of, you know, crayons and markers and supplies for school. All of her art supplies like paints. Different kinds of paper. So she pretty much has free reign over what she does with that. And then this corner is our world geography and history and then science and nature. So we have our world map, globe, all of these are our continent boxes, our who, what, and where was books. And then these are all of the books that we have that are encyclopedia or reference for world or uh, for world history or geography and then some world puzzles over there. And then this side is all of the science and nature. So right now a lot of the fossils, rocks, and minerals are out because that's what she's interested in. And then we keep all of our reference books for science and nature underneath. Over here is Emily's maker space or STEM center. The tabletop is a Lego tabletop. So she can build anything she wants right on the tabletop. And then in the drawer, she stores most of her um, building type of things. All her Legos and her Lego kits and her um, straws and connectors and blocks and her magnetiles are all stored here. And then she can display them on top and on the shelf. And then this big unit is where we store all of our subscription boxes now, mostly science and history related subscription boxes, because that is what Kevin teaches and does with her once a week. So it's easy for them to look, decide which one interests them and just pull it right out. And then in the gray and white bins is where they saw store all of their kind of art supplies and like science tools. And then Mr. Bones over here hangs around in our homeschool room because he helps with a ton of different lessons. That is an updated look at our homeschool room. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like the links to anything that you saw today, head to the blog post, which is linked in my description box for all of those details.